Fantasy Philosophers is brought to you by Fantasy-Info.com. It's time to look at our PPR 12-team quarterback results that we have here for our 15-round mock that we put together for this particular style of play. And uh, we do have a couple of quarterbacks here that were not selected. We put them on there just to keep in mind. But obviously Aaron Rodgers, Drew Brees, they were the first two quarterbacks selected, first rounders in this 12-team mock. And uh, that that should be pretty standard uh, as far as you know where you're going to see them in just about every draft they're probably going to be either in an auction league most of the time you're going to tend to see them be the two guys that you have to pay the most for uh, and then in drafts they're probably going to go first or early second round for a lot of drafts this season no matter you know PPR standard whatnot if you will uh, and then you also see guys like Matt Shaw, Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, Philip Rivers, Tony Romo those guys all went in the third fourth round So keep those things in mind. I think you're going to see a lot of those guys all definitely. I think that does hold true outside of those guys. You're going to see a lot of them wiped off the board, especially in 12-team. All those names will be wiped out probably by the end of the fourth round. Uh, So if you want to get one of those guys, you need to keep in mind. You may need to think, okay, I need to get a guy in at least the third round. If I'm not getting Breeze or Rodgers in the first or so, then I need to think third round to get a guy of that kind of caliber. After that, we see a dip. There's not a quarterback taken in this draft until the seventh round, and that's probably going to be the thing. There's going to be a little dropout from that level to the next level, and that, that guy happened. The next ones were Brett Favre. Donovan McNabb, Cutler, Flacco, Kolb, um, and Ryan. So Kolb, he's definitely getting some really good hype. Uh, One guy that I'm continually seeing drop is Eli Manning. I think people aren't really believing in what he had a year ago. That or they're just skeptical that the Giants' defense will pick up a little bit better and their running game will do better, and that means Brandon Jacobs, really. I'm still skeptical about Brandon Jacobs, and I think that's the key here with Eli. Because Ahmad Bradshaw, if he had to be the starter, then they would definitely be a heavy pass first team. Not that Ahmad's not good, it's just he's not. his physical tools are not necessarily geared to running the ball 25 times a game or what have you. So keep that in mind. I still think Eli's going to have a pretty good season in fantasy again. I do believe he's worth more than maybe a, a Matt Ryan for sure for this season because I still think the Atlanta Falcons are going to be. I think that's more legit that that's a team that's still going to run the ball a decent amount. And so that means that Ryan, he'll have some really good days, but then there's going to be days and maybe some stretches where he leaves you hanging just because Michael Turner is still the man over there. And that's pretty traditional. I mean, if you want to compare Ryan to somebody that's already a big name right now, I think Philip Rivers is very comparable. As Ladanian Tomlinson early in Rivers' career, you had LT having some of his golden years, and that really limited Rivers' abilities. But as Tomlinson started breaking down just a couple years ago, all of a sudden, wham, we see Philip Rivers taking off. He had, what, 34 touchdowns two years ago, had another really good year last year, and should project out to have a good year this year. So keep that in mind with Matt Ryan. I know a lot of people really like him, but I think we're still in a phase with, with uh, Michael Turner for at least this year that he should demand a good amount of touches, and they're still going to get good good efforts out of their ground game overall and once again we just want to let you know that if you're listening to this out there on the internet maybe on youtube for a video we've got this uh, what we're talking about here available for you there's a link it should be a link at the bottom of where this video is at right underneath the text and you can click on that link you can go over and you can download Uh, This information that we're talking about, you can print it out for yourself to use at your draft. We have that available for you. And if you're also listening to this on a podcast, maybe like Podbean, Mefedia, any one of those Blueberry, any of those type of places, that should also be incorporated. There should be an article with this as well. And there should be some type of link there for you to get back to the specific page that we're talking about for this cheat sheet or mock draft that we happen to be talking to you about right now. Good luck this season, and we hope that this information helps you have success. For more fantasy football information, go to fantasy-info.com and sign up for our free e-newsletter. Good luck in your 2010 fantasy football league. As an added bonus, the Fantasy Info guys will include their five secret tips for success in fantasy football. 